Hey, hey. Um, when launching a product on Amazon and trying to find keywords uh, to target, uh, the Product Opportunity Explorer is a, is a great way to start. Um, I just speak, I speak to a lot of sellers uh, week on week and I'm still surprised at how uh, kind of unaware people are of the Product Opportunity Explorer. And I just kind of wanted to delve in to show you how uh, kind of we, we kind of take advantage of this tool. So it, firstly, it's a great insight to give you kind of a, a top end overview of the type of terms that you can target and its potential. So for example, you can, I'm going to just put in like grab bars here. If I click search for grab bars, um, it will give you an idea of a customer need. So if we go with the first one, grab bars, <coughs> I think the first thing to take away from um, th th this information here is, is, the, is this top search term. So you can see here, what Amazon deemed to be the top search terms. And this is great because it's all built in within Amazon. This is not an external tool. This is coming directly from Amazon. So that's the first thing to bear in mind. Um, the second and, and most important thing I always look at as well is the growth. So you want to look at the growth in the last 180 days and, and the growth in the past 90 days. Um, so this is going to give you a good indication as to um, what to expect within this particular niche. So even when you're running your current campaigns, this is a good place to go to see, okay, for the, for these particular terms, right? Has there been a, a decline or an uptake? So if your sales have increased, but actually, um, they haven't kept up, uh, with the, with the spike in the, in the growth that's being shown here, then you're not actually doing as well as you think you're doing. So, um, and there's something that you can be analyzing there. And on the other, on the other side, if you've seen, um, sales not grow, um, and not do much, but then you look into um, the growth in the in, in the uh, past 180 days and 90 days, and you see there's been a decline. Then it's not necessarily what you're doing that's the issue; it's just the way the market is. So actually, you can optimize and optimize and optimize and cut back. Um, but actually, um, you know, you might have actually seen an increase in the market share of the sales you get, but actually, it's it's not it's not seen overall growth because that's just where the market is. So these insights are gonna gonna help you kind of have a much more complete picture in terms of what you're doing um, on Amazon. So so that's that. Let me now move into uh, the search terms here. So if we go into grab bars, you can actually get far more information um, on each of the search terms. So here you're getting details per search term to see okay what's the total traffic volume. Um, seen in the last year um, and also what's been the growth over a 90 day period and 180 day period so this is all really good information to kind of give you an idea of what's happening so again you can see here grab bars for showers the growth in the last 90 days has, de in, 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 has declined 35 percent but the bigger picture is actually increased this is going to also give you indications of um, terms that are going to be far more seasonal uh, too but just gives you a really good um, idea of, of, of kind of what to expect with these terms. Now you can go into insights and I really like this, uh, this part of, um, uh, uh, the, what's it called? The product opportunity explorer, uh, excuse me. So here there's a few things here that, that is really, really crucial. So you can firstly see the ease of entry, right? So when you go in, uh, with a new product into a market, you can see, okay, firstly, how many new product launches has there been in the last 180 days? So here there's been four, how many of those launches does Amazon deem a success Two. So that shows you there's a 50% success rate here, right? That's a good opportunity. And what do they deem as successful? Well, that that's 50 K in sales over the past 30 days. So it's a really good opportunity here. So that's the first thing ease of entry. The second thing you want to look at is a brand dominance, right? So when you're looking at click share, any, you know, if, if, if the brand click share is over 50%, then that is, you know, that, that, that is, that's heavily dominated by a few terms, a, a, a few, a few big brands. So, um, that, that, that is something to, to kind of consider, but again, if the success rate is what it is here, I, I would probably lean more towards that. Um, and then, and then also you can see just how seasoned the, the, the sellers are within this particular niche, because um, the, av the average out of stock rate is very low. The average product listing quality is very high. So these guys the, the, within this space, they know what they're doing.
So again, you can look at this on um, for your current products as well. You can see, okay, how many new people have entered the market? How many of them have been successful? What are you doing wrong? What are, what have they done um, that has actually seen uh, better results? Um, and, and you have to bear this information in mind. Um, so this is um, really crucial information that will give you a top level idea of um, what's happening um, with within um with, with regards to search uh search traffic hope you found this useful take care goodbye